In a previous video, I made this little guy. Now this is just something that I found off of Thingiverse, but this is a gear cube. And what you can do with it here, if I can get a hold of it, it just turns like so. It's a little decorative piece. And it'll eventually turn itself back into a cube. But as you can probably tell, it's a little bit difficult to spin this thing, especially if you have big fingers. So I figured we can go ahead and make a bigger one. All right, so for size here, this is the one that we have now, and this is the base for the one that I'm about to build. Pretty similar sizes. Um, and of course, this is without the, uh, the gears on it. These are the pins, and this is actually only a 2x scale gear cube. This isn't particularly huge. So those are the pins. These are the smaller gears, and these are the bigger gears. I have not actually tried to put this together yet, so we're gonna go ahead and try that out right now and see what happens. Pins go in there with a pretty nice solid click. This is all printed out of ABS because I've got a lot of APS stockpiled, so kind of want to use that up because it's not the easiest thing to print with and I want to get everything switched over to uh, PLA and if I need to do uh, specific sort of high durability prints I want to be using uh, PETG for that instead of ABS but right now I still have a lot of ABS laying around so I'm trying to use it up. Alright so that spins that's a good sign. And I've just got to line these up so that it looks like it's going to make a cube. So if I put this in here, like so, there we go. All right, there's our first corner there. Keep going. Maybe move the camera back so you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. And there we go, it all went together at least. That's actually pretty heavy, but will it turn? Get it freed up here, oh, here we go. Oh yeah, it turns, not easily, but it turns. I'm gonna have to spin this for a little bit and get it loosened up, it feels like, but think this will actually work pretty well. So in order to actually print this, I had to go into the original STL file for this one and split all these pieces apart. Because it was uh, just one STL file that had all the parts on it, this little cube pretty much took up my entire print bed. So in order to print this, I had to go ahead and take off all these, like the big gears here, these are the same, all four of those are the same, then all four of these smaller gears are the same, then of course all the pins are the same, and you've just got the one, uh, base cube in there. So I printed the gears four at a time and then I printed the base separately from the pins and it didn't go completely perfect. I've got some failed parts here so these orange ones were cut off early because one of them did not stick completely to the bed. So you can see there we've got a little bit of orange spaghetti and it actually made it quite a ways before it came loose and I did not see this actually happen so these went quite a ways further. You can see there. But anyway, that happens sometimes. First time I printed this I also attempted to do the pins and the base as part of one thing and one of the pins came unstuck from the bed, so I had to stop that print. Though I did catch that one early. 
With my machine, the print time for this guy was about 25 hours and we used about 130 meters worth of filament to make this thing. This was printed with 0.2 millimeter layer heights, a 15% infill, and two shells. All right, that's about it for the gear cube. Hopefully you found that interesting or entertaining, and I'll see you next one, guys.